Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy right here at Premier Leather Craft. That's in the dirty, dirty, where it is 92 degrees, but the humidity is like set on hail. So it's like really, really hot down here, uh, really humid. But hey, you gotta love it. Alabama weather, man. There's nothing you can do about it. But um, I, I want to do this video, and I think I'm just gonna title this one. New uh, ideas do not stop coming. Even some ideas come in the middle of a project. Uh, I tried to do this live, but uh, I was having a lot of problems with the uh, the feed uh, that was going on with Facebook. So I decided just to record it, and then I'm going to, course, you know, putting this on my YouTube channel, and then I'll just post this later so you guys will be able to see it. The ones where the feed was interrupted on Facebook, but. To some of you guys, I want to show you what we've been working on, what I've been working on. Now, some of you have saw this sandal um, already, um, the one with the Steve Yizik pattern um, with the daisy design, and you guys saw this out earlier. And this is completely different than even my normal custom sandals that I've been doing. Uh, this is basically... Um, I basic well what I done it wasn't basically what I done I took the pattern off of a Tandy project that they had online and then of course you guys if you guys follow Tandy tutorials and things like that Tandy had the three strap um, system that was set up and actually they had the widest band at the top of the foot and at the lower part around the toes they had the two small bands so I was like eh, that's kind of cute but let me change it up and do it you know the premier leather craft way, the cowboy way. So changed it up, just went to a regular two-man system. Uh, and this is the first one here is a 1.5 inch. Uh, and then I think this is 1.5. It might be one and three quarters. But you can make this band as wide as you want to. There's nothing set in stone to say that you have to, no, no rule or anything like that to do that. And then um, just to give you guys a quick update on what we did, um, I basically laid out the whole entire pattern, um, the whole entire piece of leather while it was still solid. And then I traced the uh, the Steve Yizik uh, uh, daisy pattern on there. And then once I had my, my pattern on and had it all carved in and tooled up, then I went back and took my utility knife and split that, which came up with the two, um, the, the two, two bands there. All right, now, but... In the midst of me putting this together, it's already been resisted. If you guys can see, the uh, Super Sheen is already on my, my acrylic paint. And right in the middle of this, I got to thinking. And I said, you know what? I really want this to be a showpiece. I really want this pair of sandals to really pop and be something completely different than what I've normally done. So I, I said to myself, and I, after while I'm sitting here resisting the acrylic uh, paint, uh, I came back and said, you know what would be really cool is to put some type of crossing foot ankle or ankle uh, crossing strap on there, which would be completely different and, and and the mind is my mind is started twirling and I'm like okay <clears throat> how do I make this different from any other um, just a foot or, or ankle or heel attachment so what I came up with and I'm hoping that this works and this is the thing about this leather crafting business or this leather crafting world is nothing is concrete it's all about bringing what's in your mind to fruition and making that a reality. So what I did, I cut out the same one inch uh, straps as I did on the foot so it'll all match. And then uh, the only thing I, after that point is just to see uh, what design, if I wanna put um, put some uh, Sheridan scrolls on there or, or do some partial half fadeaway um, daisy buds that I want, I, I can do that. But the idea is this, and I want you guys to look at this, and I wish I can have a zoom on here, but I don't. So I'm just going to angle this close just to show you guys an idea. So I'm going to run the strap right up under the heel uh, of the foot. And the idea is to come up 
and we're going to cross this type of way around the front or around the back part of the foot and these two are going to meet this way so now I like coming across the back side of the foot and crossing on the back and I might have to re-angle these and make these straps a little bit longer because I just cut these out the length of the, the height that I had but I definitely can go back and change that up and we're going to cross this up in the V to go over the heel of the foot this way and once that happens and then this is going to cross around around the the ankle and it will buckle like such I think that's going to be real cool and a real cool idea and a real twist for me right here at Premier Leather Crafters uh, is to do that. So I think I'm going to uh, uh, cut these out because I don't even know how long these are. Oh my God. Um, but roughly that's about uh, maybe a foot or so. Might be two feet almost. 16, 18 inches. Yeah, right at 20, 20 and a half inches. So this possibly could just might wind up just making this a full 24 inch strap. And then it's going to go right up under the foot and this way and cross around the back. And I think I like that I did a cross around the back right over the heel. And that way when the foot walks, the heel will catch that cross and then it'll actually lock, lock the shoe to the foot. And then it's just going to wrap right around that leg part. And I think I'm going to wind up putting some type of buckle on the outside, buckle attachment on the outside and some type of nice design. So you guys stay tuned for the finished product. I'll let you guys know how this is going to finish out, but I am really excited about that. And like I said, it just came to me right in the middle of doing this project. I mean, I'm already at the resist level, ready to antique this. And then I wind up cutting some more slots into it. Yeah, that's sometimes that's just how it works, man. But I think this is going to be one. Hey, I'm going to get out of here and get back to work. This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here from Mere Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty down here in Alabama sweating. God, now you can see my, my forehead is perspiring. But uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.